uh, let's have a three phase rectifier. Simscape, electrical, specialized power system, power GUI. Save it. Next, we need a water source. Controller. By double clicking, we can change the frequency. Let it be 100 volt. Uh, peak value of the input voltage is 100. RMS value will be 100 by root 2. Control C. Control V. You will have three voltage sources over here. So here we'll double click it. The R, the first one is the R phase, and this one is the Y phase. So it will be like minus 120 degree lagging from the R phase. Again, Control C, Control V. So now we have D phase, which is lagging by 240 degree. Here we have VRN, VYN, VBN. Now we, we need a power electron device diode. Control Shift R, which will rotate anti clockwise. We can have a right click. the format and then we can change the color of the background to green let it be D1 also we can double click it if we don't want to measure the current and voltage from the diode across the diode then we can eliminate it now we will just make control C and control V to set up six diodes. So one sequence is like this, even number in the bottom, odd number at the top. Your odd numbers I am keeping on the top. All diodes have same properties. six diodes are here. Now we need a uh, passive elements load here control R double clicking it keeping it like simple with R load and 10 ohms now let us join all these things after I join all the uh, terminals uh, let me take a ground also. Connect to the neutral of neutral to be grounded. Take it here and join these two. The neutral point is grounded. Now I need a measurement device, like current and the emitter, and voltmeter. These are available in sensor and measurement part. And we want to measure the voltage, 
phase voltages and line voltages as well. And keep it here so that I can measure the between R and neutral. These three will be measuring the phase voltages. Also, I need to measure the by control R, I can rotate it. Measure V R Y by V and also V B R. So let me just rotate it. <coughs> so now I have to join this R to here R terminal and the negative one. I will join it to the neutral terminal which is grounded. Again this then Y neutral terminal we can have all common neutral terminal. So these three will be taking phase voltages. So let me have a mask. By putting this mask here, we can see there are three, two inputs. We can make it to three inputs, and these three inputs we can have together in a single scope, so that we can have like R Y B in a single place. So it's taking some time. Let me pause the video. Now this mask, I will rotate it and double click, and I will write here three. So I've got three input terminals. input terminals we can join these three and this output I can take it and measure the scope another one we want to measure is the line voltage as well so R Y Y and B and here it is B and here it is R Correct. And these three, we also need a mask over there. So let's rotate it. Now we have the first VRY, VBR, not going to merge with someone else. Yes, VBR. So we have here line voltages, so we can take this line voltages out. Now uh, we need to keep a ammeter over here so that I can meet, measure one of the current, input current. So let me keep it here, so it will measure the current from the R phase. And also I need an ammeter over here which will measure the output current. I have got an emitter at the input end which measures the phase, which measures the line current actually. Line and phase current will be same. So which measures the input current from the R phase. But it is now connected to not R phase, rather it is getting distracted. Is reconnected we need to measure only the R phase keep it here and Y phase also you can measure the Y phase is here so R phase meter is connected in the R phase V B R it is to be connected properly yes done so let me just change the color of this voltmeters to that measurement some yellow color so I just change the color to this uh, some different so it looks good and uh, let me have the sink uh, in a simulink the sink is there so let us take the scope out of it and here I, I will see uh, let me double click it and let us make it 
uh, make the layout uh, three in a one scope and number of input is also three. Uh, let it be three, uh, limited to three uh, so that we can see the output clearly and let us keep it one side after a while. So first what we want to see is the phase voltage. So let us take the phase voltage out phase voltage then we would like to see the line voltage in the same axis seeing the phase voltage and the line voltage and then we need to see the output voltage as well okay where is the output voltage so voltage for that we need a measurement uh, just to take the voltmeter okay I can take it from here just control C and control V rotate it Okay, now we can measure the output voltage across the resistor. So plus over here and minus over here. So I just need to measure what is the voltage on the output. So now this is done. From this continuous, let us convert that into discrete. And then here stop time 0.04 two cycle only we would like to see one cycle of 0.02 seconds two cycle 0.04 seconds compiling over here after the compilation is 100% done we can double click on the scope and here we go. <clears throat> so here now here we have a visualization of the on the top the phase voltage. So let us write it down in the display. The first one display the upper one is the phase voltage. <clears throat> 